All right, everyone. Good morning. Um, so I'm back from vacation now. Took a week off just to kind of clear my head. Went to Iceland, but back now and I'm back to probably one of the craziest market action I've seen since the pandemic, right? For those of you that were not trading during 2020, um, this is what the market was like. We had 10, 20 different runners every single day. Each of them were up 300 to 500%. There was opportunities for longs, there was opportunities for shorts, and everyone was making just hand over fist money. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the year, guys, my goal this year is to go long more because when that raging bull market happened in 2020, I was making a lot of money shorting, but I could have made double, triple, quadruple had I been focused on longing more as well. So my big goal this year is to just go long the hot stocks more. And that's exactly what I did this morning on HTOO. So let me pull that up for you guys here. So H2OO, you can see my, my thought process for these long bias trades is relatively simple. I'm pretty much looking for stocks that are day one, stocks that are holding above VWAP, and stocks that are trading heavy volume and just looking to buy them. So on H2OO, that's pretty much exactly what I did. When it was kind of breaking out over 290, I bought some. Uh, added to the winner above 320 and then i just sold into the push into four and it went nearly all the way up to five so i'm trying my best uh this year to just go long significantly more uh i also went long a little bit on cpop here from seven to 850. i only used 100 shares here because i just didn't feel too confident on it but you can see these stocks are going from one to eight one to six you know even gxai is going from 30 cents to a dollar 80. so there's a lot of opportunity to make money on the long side and that's exactly what my focus is uh this year and i think so far i've been doing a pretty good job of going long in this market but i can still do much better it's just so much quote unquote easier to go long a hot market than to go short a hot market because the moves and the range are so expanded. I mean, look at CPOP, $1 to $8. I mean, you short even a thousand shares, you're dead. But on the flip side, if you buy a thousand shares, you're banking in just a few minutes. So as long as the market conditions are permitting to go long, I'm gonna continue to go long uh, based on the action. So coming into today, a couple ideas. So as you guys know, the way that I run the live trading is I like to start by building the watch list. After I build the watches, I take a few questions and then I kind of just focus on trading and making money. So first things first is because I was not here, uh, what I usually do is I usually look at the previous day's watch list first, but because I was not here, I don't have the opportunity to do that. So I'm going to look at what Tom has here and I'm going to kind of start from there. So CHNR, so CHNR was yesterday's really, really big runner. Looks like there's probably going to be some resistance in the 420s area. So I look for 420 and five dollars to short chnr looking for a bounce toward four pennies five dollars to short son son i don't really like this because i think it has like a pr catalyst with nvidia or something like that i think nvidia owns a percentage of this so yeah i think that this one just kind of might be a little bit choppy so because it's gonna be a little bit choppy i don't really want to play around with it so SOUN, probably going to ignore that one. So JXJT was yesterday's kind of big runner and fader. I mean, I would love to see a bounce today, maybe 350, 375 and four. But this is the type of stock that probably just doesn't even look like it's going to be bouncing much, but we'll try it. JXJT, ideally a bounce for 350, $4 to short. And now looking at what's moving today, guys. So there's a lot of crazy stocks moving today. But let's start with all the weak ones. SXTC. So SXTC looking for a bounce towards VWAP to short. SXTC looking for a bounce towards VWAP to short. This is already kind of broken pre-market. JTAI, same thing. Looking for a bounce toward VWAP to short. OCG, pretty big run and fail. I would say probably 420, 450 and five. LICN, looking for a bounce towards VWAP to short. 
Pretty simple here, guys. Looking for pretty much the same trade on everything. TCTM, once again, looking for a bounce toward the UAP to shorts. CPOP, I see key support here, guys, at 460. So if 460 breaks, it could make for a potential short, but I would just kind of wait for it. CPOP, I think backside of the move will be on a 450 break. So waiting for that key level to break to short. GXAI. GXAI, I think it's kind of 50 50. I'm um, not really sure on it yet. I would say maybe under 90 cents can look for bounces to short. Otherwise, just wait for a pop and fail. Um, SMCI is way out of my pay grade, but this is setting up for a potential first red day, um, but out of my pay grade, but a potential first red day set up. Um, what else we got here? Waffle, well, I'll probably wait for a bounce towards three. There's a lot of stocks in play today, guys. A lot of stocks in play. Like I said, this is what the pandemic markets were like. Every day, just multiple, multiple runners, multiple, multiple opportunities every single day. So this is pretty much a watch this, guys. So pretty much looking for the same setup on all these. These are all pretty much broken stocks. I'm looking for a bounce towards VWAP to short. So whatever, whichever one of these kind of pops there, we'll look to attack it. H2O potential hot stock. So I'm not going to really be too excited yet. I would say that H2O, if it breaks 350, can look for a short on it. So let me put that down to H2O. If it breaks 50, can look for a bounce to short on it. So that's currently the watch list, guys. As I mentioned this morning, I went long. So like I said, my goal this year is to go long more. And my criteria for going long is relatively simple. I'm looking for day one stocks. I'm looking for high volume and I'm looking for uh, day one high volume and above VWAP. So H2O day one high volume above VWAP and just kind of buying it with risk to the VWAP break. So if I'm wrong, I cut it on VWAP break. If I'm right, I keep adding to the winner. I think that you know, first two months of this year so far, we're February 16. I think I've went long at least 10 or 15 times already. And each time that I do it, I get better and better and better and better. So like I said, for everyone that came in late, one of my biggest regrets during the pandemic COVID markets was that I was making money hand over fist. I was probably making 10, 20, $30,000 a day, every single day in like an hour of trading. And that's great. And it's a significant amount of money. But had I just kind of been focused on maybe going long a little bit more, I could have made $100,000 a day. So I always told myself that whenever we had a hot market again, which I think that we're in right now, that I would focus more on long bias rather than focusing more on short bias. Because although there's plenty of money to be made on the short side, for sure, there is way more money to be made on the long side during this specific market cycle. For the last two years, if you were going long, it's very, very difficult to make money because every single stock was tanking, right? But now in this current market cycle with what we've kind of been seeing with all the AI and all these crazy moves, I think that there is a significant uh, opportunity to make money on the long side, which is exactly kind of what I've been focusing on myself. So SMCI is setting up for a potential first red day here, guys. Let me pull it up, SMCI. So this is setting up for a potential first red day. I just don't have the balls and the buying power to be able to short it. I actually get, maybe I should do it. Short it some. 104 is the key level. If it breaks 104, I'll add. Watching. We're approaching first red day. 
So this is very different action than this stock has been trading in the past. This stock has not really ever made a move like this. I do not recommend shorting SMCI if you are a new trader. I'm only using a couple shares, guys. I'm only using a couple shares. 104 will be my ad. Why? 104 will be when it goes red. Indexes are weak. Indexes are weak. 104 will be my ad. I'm not using much size, guys. I'm not using much size. Added? Added. SMCI, there it is. Up, what is that? $30 a share, $40 a share. Holy shit, there you go. Okay. Up $40 a share on it, but did not use much size. So in my opinion, this is going to be... I wish I had more money, guys. I wish I had more money. I wish I had more money. Let me make my triangles bigger because I can't even see them. Carlos, you have 2,000 shares, bro? That's a $2 million position, dude. All right, so up, what is this? $50 a share? $60 a share? So you see the first red day, man? You see how easy the first red day can be? Oh my God. That's like $70 a share, bro. If I used a thousand shares, I could have made $70,000 in three minutes, bro. So adding shorts, SMCI. Just got this SMCI looking for a low of the day retest. 5% down already. Within literally three minutes, you can make 5%. I wish I had more money, guys. I wish I had more money to throw at this. I mean, this uh, lovely, lovely uh, stock. Come on down. So my average on SMCI is about $1,000 a share. So I'm up nearly $40 a share. So I'm okay with this thing wiggling a little bit. 950. Come on, Phil. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. 923.15 covered some for about $100 a share profit. So 923.15 covered some. Pretty much dead lows there. Very, very good cover. Very, very good cover. H2OO, F me. F me. Good job today, guys. Good job today. If you guys are not into live trading, I don't know what the hell you're smoking because I want some of it. I want some of whatever the f you guys are smoking. Because it must be the good if you're not in this every day. Oh my God, that's a pretty decent amount of money. I just wish I had more buying power, guys. I wish I had more buying power. I was telling... uh ryan and george last night fuck man i felt like today was a day but this is the first red day setup guys this is the first red day setup all you gotta do is short it when the f goes red and you make insane obscene amounts of money so do you guys understand the setup are you guys seeing the setup short it when it's red please tell me this makes sense guys please tell me this makes sense I guarantee you're going to see a lot of people on Twitter posting $5 million days today. It ain't going to be me, but I'll take what I could get. Guys, if you're not in live trading, just hit up Steven to sign up because this is just ridiculous at this point. 923, let's see if it's going to break the low of the day. This is going to be a very key test for me. If it cannot break low of the day, I will cover some more. Unbelievable. We got a first red day set up when I'm back, but it's on a crazy ass stock. How the f are you going to short with size? I mean, it's so tough, guys. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Come on. Come on down. 911. 911. Covering more. Got it. Covered more. 911. 
903. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Break 900. Break 900. SSR is on. Break 900. What is this, guys? This is a, over $100 a share in profit in, what is it, 10 minutes? Sounds like I should be taking a vacation more often, guys. I came in clear-headed, focused so far. Don't want to jinx it, but a pretty massive day. Let's keep going. Let's break 900. 900? Come on. Give me a 800. Survey says 893. 892 covered some more. First red day. 888 covered more. No bid. 882 covered more. 880, come on. All out. All out. All out. That's it. I'm done with that. All out. All out. That's it. Woo! That is. That is. So that is. What's my lowest cover there? Uh, what the hell is that lowest cover? Eight eighty oh one. So eight eighty oh one is my lowest cover. And my short was at 1022, 1022. That is 880. I made $142 a share. $142 a share, man. Wow. That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Guaranteed people are going to be making millions of dollars on this, guys. Millions and millions of dollars. I'm expecting people to post million dollar days today, multi million dollar days. All right, guys. I mean, I don't know what else to say except that was sick. I uh, guess uh, maybe I should take another vacation. Maybe I should take another vacation. But that's it for me, guys. I mean, yeah, damn. I got nothing else to say, man. About $150 a share. Yeah, good thing I was recording. So this is why the first red day is such a powerful setup, guys is because it's so relatively simple and the payoff is so massive. So if you guys have not signed up to the live trading, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. I really have no idea what you guys are doing if you're not in the live trading. Would I reshort a bounce? I mean, maybe, but uh, like, I mean, guys, I already nailed it. I don't need to get greedy, you know? I made $150 a share, guys, a share. So like I said, if you have not signed up for the live trading, just send a message to Steven. I'll tell him to do some sort of promotional pricing, but this is every day, guys. This is literally every day. I mean, obviously it'd be nice to have, you know, first red day every single day, but this is the first, first red day of the year. So today, guys, probably my biggest day of the year, 50,000, 50,000.
So let's get that on the live trading tracker. 50, 55193. Five, There's where I'm at so far for February. $83,000 with one, two, three, four days of trading. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you're not part of the live trading, message Steven to get in. If I end up posting this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description. We're calling it a day, guys.